So when I found out about my selection, I was in my living room at home. Um, I was a wee bit frustrated because I was in the middle of watching a TV show. I uh, can't remember what one it was exactly, but um, I had to pause that, answer the phone, um, and luckily the team manager is also one of my coaches, so it was quite an, an easy chat. Um, and obviously I was pretty excited, but I kind of knew that I was already going to be selected because I'd met the selection criteria. So it wasn't much of a surprise, but um, it was still really good news to, to receive. Yeah, so being a student athlete, a lot of people tend to assume that it's quite difficult, but in my experience it's been very, very easy um, and it's way more rewarding than um, being an athlete and just working. Um, the sports scholarship programme has helped me a lot um, with balancing my academic stuff and as well as my, my sport commitments. Um, something that comes to mind is in my second year, first year, um, we were on a training camp in Japan. Um, so I actually did my exams over at the consulate in, uh, in Tokyo. Um, so, you know, it is, it is difficult, but um, with the right support and kind of networks around you, especially if the, your sports program's receptive to the, the academic side of things, then it's quite easy to, to do both. Um, and especially with COVID, you know, it kind of helped everything being blended learning. That helped me massively. Um, you know, I was studying in airports and um, hotel rooms for the last like six months. So. It's, it's doable, it's really doable. So, um, the Sports Scholarship Programme has um, supported me massively. Um, I said a wee bit earlier, but the, uh, the whole support network with the academics as well, like that, having that person to go between the academics and the, the athletes is quite important um, to allow for the flexibility. So I had to delay exams a couple of times, I had to do them abroad in Japan. Um, and then the facilities at Orium, you know, sometimes, in, I've been here for six years. Um, so when I first started coming, the, the program that I was on was a little bit less flexible. Um, but the facilities here allowed me to do training at like 7 a.m., 6 a.m. before my lecture started. Um, which I otherwise wouldn't have been done, wouldn't have been able to do. I would have had to miss sessions, which just wasn't something I was prepared to do. It was kind of miss sessions or miss uni. It was always going to be miss uni. But the scholarship program allowed me to meet as, or go to as many lectures as possible, um, whilst still could train full time or throughout throughout my time at uni. So quite boring. I got signed up when I was four by my mum. Um, just had too much energy and needed me to do something. I did, played all the sports under the sun, um, but judo was one of them. And probably my first memory was, was probably something silly, like doing a forward roll on a crash mat or something like that. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. constantly um, and always be moving forward without fear of um, losing or getting beat because sometimes that can hold you back a lot more than, um, than, than it's really necessary. Um, there's nothing wrong with attacking or um, taking a chance and it not, work, not working um, and it'll actually progress you much faster than, than playing it safe. challenge probably has been COVID um, that's just been you know it's been a nightmare um, with the testing and the isolating and then you know getting COVID and training getting shut down for a couple of weeks and then on top of that um, all the things going on at uni and um, so my it's my fourth year so it was most intense year kind of fell within the qualification period I was quite lucky to pick up a couple of results early on which meant I didn't have to go chasing events um, when uni got more intense um, so a combination of the two, COVID and COVID and uni. Um, I'm just looking forward for the opportunity to, to display my judo, show what I can do. 
Um, I mean, it's been eight years since it was Juro's last in the Commonwealth Games, and that was in Glasgow. Um, so I'm excited to show like a new group of athletes what, or a new group of kids, potential athletes what what Juro is all about, and hopefully, you know, inspire some kids to take it up. Um, so judo's got so many different aspects to it. Um, you, know, you need to be strong, fast, good technically, and, and strong, strong will. But the biggest one is just having a strong heart. Um, I mean, it's cheesy, but I was never the strongest. I was never the fittest. I was never the best at judo. I just tried the hardest, and I've kind of done much better than what any of the coaches would have said at a young age. So perseverance and, and hard yeah, work. Just, just having a strong heart and just trying your best. It's cliche, but it's, it works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> um, so there's lots of players that have inspired me um, from a technical aspect. Um, you know, there's lots of Japanese players, lots of Russians, Eastern Europeans, whoever, um, who I really respect their judo. But closer at home, somebody that's um, really kind of took me under their wing as their mentor was uh, uh, Pat Dawson. Um, he was older than me, um, he was kind of helped guide me through my career um, at an early stage. Um, and he's, he's one of the hardest working and um, nicest guys I've, I've had the pleasure of, of working with. Nice. It doesn't always have to be a, a superstar, it can be someone that's been involved in your life and, and guided you. He, he, was, he was a very high level player, you know, he beat, he beat um, Olympic champions, world champions. Um, he, he didn't make the, the big big star stardom status but he's one of the, the greatest judo players that, that I've, we've, we've produced from Scotland for a while. Um, so kind of it from from athlete's past experience, it kind of feels like an inconvenience, but once you get there, then it's the, the whole momentum starts to build because um, we've got a really busy calendar, so Commonwealth Games almost feels like a little bit of a hindrance, and then as soon as you get there, then everything just goes and you get caught up and ready to go for it, because it is a big, big event.